The June 10th helicopter crash that killed the then Internal Security Minister Professor Jutsei Toti, his deputy Orwa Ojode, and four others was the center of a heated debate in parliament after a section of MPs claimed that the government was frustrating investigations into the cause of the crash. The ministry has made sure that they lock them out, that when they ask for facilitation, this week they asked for a container, a 40-foot container, to be purchased so that they can relocate all the material, all that into a container, seal it, and everybody has a key so that for future investigation, nobody can get into the to interfere. But they refuse to buy. These particular professionals who had started the investigation had to be frustrated so that it can give way to a purported upgrading of the inquiry and their families, and Kenyans, and even us as a house, want to know the truth about this matter. Despite clarifications from Transport Minister Amos Kimunya, who was briefing the house on the preliminary investigations, MPs claimed that some government officials were behind the alleged sluggishness in the helicopter crash probe. If today your boss was to have the kind of accident that happened to Obra Bosaitoti and Obra Bojode, and you are the police commissioner and you arrive at the scene and you leave without having secured the scene. In the last two weeks only, the president to ignore a negotiated process to come up with the so-called public inquest. What was wrong with the one which was established only a few days ago? To the chief investigator, they did uh, attend, uh, uh, visit the site. They've been working together. And they did mention they only needed to be in the country for three, four days, gather the information, go back to South Africa, prepare their notes, and then come back and present themselves in the inquiry. The two uh, comrades who departed us were serious investigators of this drug issue. And they brought various reports in this house. And maybe, maybe the conspirators could have decided to silence them. All the senior officers implicated in the Chemorais murder should face the law, they should face murder charges. But instead, Mr. Speaker, the Commissioner of Police has promoted all the suspects. They have been transferred in different countries. Transport Minister Amos Kimunya informed Parliament that due to the seriousness of the matter, President Kibaki had decided to upgrade the Justice Kalpana Rawal led probe team to a public commission of inquiry with the hearings beginning on Monday next week at the Kenyatta International Conference Center. Meanwhile, residents of Kangema, Kajiado North and Diwa constituencies will have to wait a little longer before they can get their new parliamentary representatives. House Speaker Kenneth Marende clarified that under the Constitution, he has no powers yet to declare vacant the three seats which were left unoccupied following the deaths of John Michuki, Professor Saitoti, and Orwa Ojode. The Elections Act repealed uh, the National Assembly and Presidential Elections Act without making provision for the holding of by-elections. Uh, I think it was an oversight on the part of the persons who generated uh, that election. Maybe they did not anticipate that we will have occasion that will necessitate uh, by elections. Marende was speaking during a ceremony to issue 10 million shillings insurance checks to each of the families of the late John Michuki, Professor Saitoti, and Orwa Ojode. Meanwhile, in Parliament, MPs debated and unanimously adopted the amendments proposed by President Kibaki in the Political Parties Act and the Elections Act after declining to assent to the Statute Law Miscellaneous Amendment Bill as passed in Parliament last week. For now, those seeking to vie for a parliamentary seat in the coming elections and have no degrees can sleep easy after the Elections Act was left intact. However, for those who are planning to party hope, they have no choice but to shelve their ambitions if they fail to clinch their party nominations. Chris Dair, Citizen Live at Nine.